All right, all right, all right. All right, we're doing part two now. So Scout's mom came in, and this and and I had to carry groceries and all that stuff. Anyways, so like I said, I think it's a little underpowered. Could be better, especially because we have a bagger system. We have the three-bag bagger system, but it has also the little turbo thing on the side, you know. But um, uh, I think it could be a little a little more horsepower. So, But it's not bad. It gets the job done. Lays great stripes. Can't complain about the cut quality at all, you know. Um, keep the deck clean, and you're good to go. And even it can be a little deck can be a little boogered up, and you'll be okay. But if it's got a clean deck, it's hard to beat the cut. Um, so, anyways, issues that I had, like I said, throttle cable self-inflicted, so I can't complain about that. And the PTO switch went out um, last fall. Towards the, towards the end of the year, it went out. Actually, might have started going out in the fall, and I ended up replacing it in the spring before it totally went out. So that was cheap too, like fifteen bucks, something like that. And um, so you see, I have the grass flap on it. Love it. And zero complaints about the grass flap. Um, I haven't broke a cable yet. Knock on wood. Now watch, I'll break one. The only thing I've actually broke was um this right here there's normally like a pin that goes through with a cotter pin and uh and it broke out on the job site and i happen to have that little screw so i threw it or that bolt and nut so i threw it in there and it's been in there for a year so watch it'll break now too so anyway i know the mower's kind of dirty Trying to think of what else we've had any issues with. I think that's pretty much it. No, I take that back. Take it back. Um, I started noticing some kind of excessive slop on the belts. And um, like this one was really vibrating a lot, kind of. And then we ended up breaking the belt. And so when I put it back on, that's why I was really paying attention that it was kind of doing an extra wobble and I'm like, that's not right. And what it was, was this bearing right here for this um, tensioner pulley was bad. It was wore out. And uh, you could actually sit there and move this whole arm up and down a little bit. And uh, so that one, uh, so I replaced that bearing. It was easy. I, I made a video doing it. You just, a couple bolts, you got it unbolted. And um, knock, there's two bearings actually, one on the top, one on the bottom. You just sandwich them together. So I replaced those. And then about a week later, I was like, this one seems like it had a little play. And uh, so I, re I replaced that one too to be safe. Let me see if there's any play in this one now. See, even right now, there's a little bit of play, I think. But that's acceptable, I guess. This one, there's no play. Yeah, I don't know. So anyways, um, I just I got done greasing the spindles. I'm trying to think. We had a rash of flat tires, but that was self-inflicted too. We had a little burr on the edge of our trailer. Didn't notice it driving in and out. Kept on getting flats. So I, got, I ended up buying two new tires. Um, and really, I, I mean, I, I, I'm, I know I'm drawing this out, but we really haven't had any issues. Oh, this breather top, it's like a two piece thing that's kind of glued together, something like that. And it ended up busting off in the top part. So picked up a new one of these at the dealer. It was like $15. It says Kohler instead of Kawasaki. Kawasaki one was 30 Kohler 15 <clears throat> Excuse me, same exact thing. The guy goes, just buy this one. So I did. And uh, like I said, we have not had any issues at all. Other than, like I said, those couple bearings. And that was at the 450 hour mark. So that was a while ago. And um, the guy said that they're rated for about 500 hours. So they're about right on. It's been a good mower. Great mower. Thinking about upgrading, getting rid of the three bag system, or at least not necessarily getting rid of it, but changing it out to the clamshell. Because all of our lawn, all of our leaf jobs, lawns and stuff have curbside pickup, and all we gotta do is dump it at the road. And it doesn't have to be bagged. So 
Thinking about getting the clamshell, getting rid of the three bags and get the clamshell unit. It's two grand though, from what I understand, <coughs> to swap them out. And uh, that's a lot of money. But Scout's going to be doing a lot of lawns himself this fall. And it's just so much easier. You, you sit there and go, oh, it's not that big of a deal. But every time you got to stop, shut the mower off and this and that, and get off, go back. And um, with this, the rope system, you got to move that kind of out of the way to open the bagger. Normally, this is up like this when the bagger's on. And this is almost touching the top of the bagger. So it's hard to kind of, well, it's helpful if this is all the way up. But all our properties are flat. Anyways, to get the bagger up, to empty it and stuff, it's a little bit of a pain. So I'm sure with the clamshell, I'd have to take that all the way off or run with it up. But I'm thinking about doing that. Let me know what you would do. It's two grand. And uh, probably make that during leaf cleanup, you know, make it back. But I don't want to break even every year. I want to put some money in my pocket. So we might go one more year. I don't know. You guys let me know. What would you do? What would you do? It's so much easier with a clamshell versus the three bang. Anyways, I'm kind of whipping a dead horse there. So anyways, <clears throat> great mower. I can't complain. Can't complain, but watch. Something will happen now. And uh, love it. Highly recommend it. And uh, I buy definitely would buy another Skag. And stuff but I'm not opposed to buying something else either so all right not much of a review just letting you know you know other than a couple self-inflicted things we have not had any issues and uh, it's worked out fantastic but the only thing I noticed kind of backing up is right from the dealer when I got this the deck was off about a quarter inch so if it was at you know if I had the thing set at three if I measured the front tip or the blades and stuff um, they're two and three quarters quarter inch off and I even adjusted it last year in the snad and I thought everything was good and I checked it again a month or so ago and yeah it was still like a quarter inch off so now we just know if you want to mow it three and a half set it three and three quarters not a big deal all right man I wish this was better that's my review 607.5 hours I would give it a double thumbs up the Skag Tiger Cat 2. Later, everybody. See you at GIE.